seems to be growing. Right. Well, look, uh, if and when Hillary Clinton is president, I believe she will be, uh, that I do believe the Senate will become Democratic. We still have the filibuster to deal with. The House will be less Republican than it is now. And I believe the Speaker, if he can deal effectively with the Tea Party folks, you know, with that Freedom Caucus, I, I think there's some chance that we can work together to move things forward. Uh, again, I'm not going to be overly optimistic about it by any means, uh, but I think that by the time this is all said and done, when Hillary Clinton's president, I think she's going to be a lot more positive than negative, and I have no question about that. What is it about this election that you see that's different than past elections that you think will give congressmen that mandate that you were talking about to, to work across the aisle? Well, I just think that every, pretty much everyone in Washington, D.C. understands, whether they're willing to act on that understanding is another question, understands that people are upset in this country, that they are angry. That's part of why Bernie Sanders did so well. It's part of why Donald Trump is the nominee. People get that. But it's just a question of them taking the next leap of faith, if you will, and actually working together. There have been a couple of instances, one in Kansas recently, where establishment Republicans did work to get rid of uh, one of those Freedom Caucus members who voted against the Farm Bill, uh, who was removed from the Agriculture Committee by John Boehner. So I think there are limits to what those folks can do in the U.S. House. I expect when they come back, they'll be angry uh, for what happened to him in Kansas. But at the same time, uh, I just think that the American people have had enough. And they want to see action. Your, uh, one more. Your Democrats' last standing uh, federal elected official. Yeah. Uh, what do you feel like is the state of the Iowa Democratic Party? How has it changed since 14? And what have you been doing in your district to help rebuild it? Well, I'm helping a lot of folks down ballot. I have to be concerned about me first and foremost. But, uh, if I have to be the only one, I want to make sure I am the only one that I'm there. Uh, but at the same time, I'm helping other folks for, on the state legislative front, doing what I can for them uh, and even further down ballot. But uh, I'm helping, of course, in other congressional districts. I'd like to have some help from Iowa. Uh, but at the same time, as I said on the, on the, on the, on the podium, I, mean, I work across the aisle on these issues. I will work with anybody who gets elected in Iowa. Of course, I'd like to see more Democrats elected. Uh, but my record is working with folks across the aisle. But, um, you know, I'm just doing what I can to help out, uh, down ballot. And I've been to a lot of events for a lot of folks running for legislative office, and I'll keep doing that as much as I possibly can. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.